He's 15. Okay, but this question is actually interesting. Hear me out. The age of Sonic the Hedgehog is a question that has been on many people's minds for almost three decades. At this point, the man might as well reveal it. We gotta know if he can drive a car or not. Wait a second. There have been many sources throughout the franchise's history that revealed the Hedgehog's age, but apparently not one that's concrete enough to be considered his proper age. Well, that's about to change today. I'm gonna dig across the Sonic lore to find out Sonic's proper age and see if it's true that he can legally smoke a cigar. Starting off in the year 1992, someone was revealed to be 15, and it wasn't my uncle. In the manual for Sonic the Hedgehog 2 on the Genesis, it's revealed that Sonic the Hedgehog was at the ripe age to be getting his permit. 15 was his age, and nothing was challenging that. Everyone lived their lives peacefully. But one company couldn't help themselves. Deek. The animation company Deek released two Sonic the Hedgehog shows in the same year. One titled The Adventures of Sonic the Hedgehog, and the other being titled simply Sonic the Hedgehog, or Sonic said I am, to differentiate it with the 75 releases titled Sonic the Hedgehog. In the first part of the two-parter Blast of the Past episode of Sonic Sad AM, where Sonic and Sally time traveled to before Robotnik took over Mobotropolis, it's stated that Sonic and Sally are the same age. Then in another episode, Sally is said to be 16 years old, meaning that Sonic is also 16, contradicting what is said in Sonic 2. This is only the beginning. The year before, the comic book series published by Archie began. At some point in the series, Sonic is confirmed to be around 15, if I remember correctly. Alright, pretty good so far. We're being accurate to the games, I see. But then Ken freaking Penders pulled up, popped out at the after party by having Sonic being sent to another planet by an active black hole in which is for all the Mobians to be de-roboticized and for him to be sent back home. While this all happens within a short period of time for Sonic, an entire year passed on Mobius making Sonic physically 15, but technically 16. After that, when Ken Penders was kicked off and Ian Flynn was brought on, Sonic had a proper birthday party making him physically 16, but technically 17. But wait, there's also that time when Archie was forced to change Sonic's design to be more akin to the newer Sonic Adventure game. Because of that, they have this absolutely insane story where Sonic breaks the flow of time and ages by around a year, growing taller and having green eyes, possibly even making him technically 18. Is this why the IDW comics exist? Now, if you have a life and don't waste your time studying Sonic lore, you might be asking yourself, but x -Pool, why does that matter? All this happened long after 1992, and you could easily just say that Sonic's getting older. After all, he does change his appearance to look older, and you'd be right. But then Sega had to come in and screw everything up. In 2004, Sega released Sonic Heroes. It was the first multi-platform Sonic game, meaning it was the first Sonic game for many players. It also released the same year as the anime series Sonic X was dropping in America. Because of this, one of Sega's priorities was telling people how old every single character was. Some of them made sense, like Amy being 12 after being 8 in CD, which means a few years has passed, Big the Cat being 18, because of course he is, and Sonic is 15. Wait, what?! Nah, nah, you mean to tell me that after Sonic has grown significantly taller and has gained green eyes, he hasn't aged a single year? In fact, he's aged down?! In Sonic Jam, there was this area where you could look at the characters' bios. And in there, Sonic is said to be 16, which means a year has passed by the time from between Sonic 2 and Sonic 3D Blast. I mean, this could technically be a typo, because Knuckles has said it's 15, but like, come on. Heroes was the last Sonic game to have proper ages for the characters, but that doesn't mean they were never mentioned again! The Sonic Channel website for multiple years had Sonic's age set as 15, which still doesn't make sense, because he has a birthday in Sonic Generations. What, did he not age during his birthday? Was he 14 during Sonic Heroes? In fact, Generations as a whole was all about Sonic teaming up with his younger self from the classic games, who was very clearly shorter and more immature than the present Sonic. So was Sonic 2 lying? Was classic Sonic always just younger than 15 and we just need to accept that? Well then, that settles it. Except it doesn't! While the Sonic Channel website had the modern Sonic's age as 15, the classic Sonic style guide from 2015 says that the Sonic from that classic period is also 15. The only explanation at this point would be that the two are completely separate entities. Oh! Oh! One of Sonic Force's many retcons was the separation of modern and classic Sonic, making every single game that took place before Sonic Adventure no longer canon. And even with that, Sonic being 15 still doesn't work. If Sonic is 15 at the beginning of Sonic Forces, then the idea of him being 15 in general makes zero sense still. In Sonic Forces, there's a big time jump to six months after Sonic's supposed death, which means that Forces would have to take place within six months of Sonic Generations, Sonic Lost World, and potentially Sonic Runners. 
yeah, no. And even then, in Sonic Runners, Sonic has a birthday party that takes place on Windy Hill Zone, a stage from a game that takes place after Generations, which means that it is factually impossible for Sonic to be 15 in Sonic Forces if Runners is canon. He has to be at the very least 17 by the end of Forces if you want to say that the game takes place as soon after Generations as possible. Well, maybe the Sonic channel's out of date. Maybe the next time Sonic's age is said in something considered canon, it'll make more sense. A SON OF A- After Sonic Forces failed miserably, Sega backtracked on all the changes the game made to the universe, including making Classic Sonic and Modern Sonic the same entities again, and re-canonizing the games that took place before Sonic Adventure. This makes everything feel far more genuine, and like a proper, cohesive universe. But Sonic Age is still a mess. Sonic's back to being 15 in Sonic 2, being 15 in Sonic Heroes, and being 15 in the canon IDW series. However, just a few months ago, the Sonic Channel did something very interesting. They removed Sonic's age from the website. Around the same time, the head of Sonic Team, Takashi Izuka, was asked about Sonic's age, and instead of just saying that he was 15, he simply said, he's a teenager. And now, with the release of Sonic Frontiers, Sonic's voice has been significantly lowered in tone, and he's far more relaxed and gentle rather than being the high-energy, cocky, arrogant teen from the last 25 years of modern games. So. Is this it? Are they finally fixing Sonic's age? Probably not, since Sonic's voice change was confirmed to be a one-time thing meant for Frontiers' tone. Sonic's age is still set as 15 in the IDW comics, which takes place right after Sonic Forces, and the classic Sonic style guide that says he's 15 is still in use for companies with the Sonic the Hedgehog license. Now, you're probably saying, well, the next pool, if you're so passionate about the age of Sonic the freaking Hedgehog, why don't you fix Sonic's age? You know what? Fine. Let's do it. I'd first fix Sonic's age by looking at what point makes the most sense for him to be 15. Looking at each canon release that implies or outright confirms his age, I'd say that Sonic being 15 in Heroes makes the most sense. So we'd use that as a starting point. Since Sonic's canonical birthday has been confirmed to be the anniversary of the series, June 23rd, and one of the releases that implies an age is a title release and a milestone year, I'll say that every game that is considered an anniversary title or a main game that is released on a milestone year takes place on or around Sonic's birthday. This means that Sonic will be 13 from Sonic 1 to Sonic 3D Blast, 14 from Sonic 3D Blast to Sonic Event. Adventure 2, 15 from Adventure 2 to the Festival of the Sun from Sonic 06, 16 from the Festival of the Sun to Sonic Generations, 17 from Generations of Forces, and 19 from Frontiers until now. Frontiers was meant to be an anniversary game, but then it was delayed. Don't worry about it. I say 19 instead of 18 in Frontiers because the six month time skip in Sonic Forces is very unlikely to take place soon enough after Generations to not have Sonic aged by a year while locked in the Death Egg. I can't wait for the next Sonic game to completely ruin this headcanon. So, in conclusion, Sonic's age in the main canon is an absolute mess and will probably never fully be solved in our lifetime. But does it really matter? Honestly, not really. Most people aren't losing sleep over the fact that Sonic is the exact same age in nearly every single game. But I do, I stay up at least once a week thinking about this. Sega's internals probably don't care that much either. Ian Flynn recently said on a podcast to not worry about the ages of the characters, and if the internals aren't worried about it, we shouldn't be either. Wait, why are you looking at me? Wait, no, 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 no!